everyone. Welcome back to Piggy Vitty TV. I know you've all been missing the piggies. Uh, I've missed recording them and uploading them, so I know you all have been waiting for another video. Uh, if you've been keeping up with us, staying tuned, if you follow us on Instagram, you know that we just got a cat. Um, we were going to get a fourth guinea pig, but we just haven't found the right one to bring home yet. And then we ended up seeing a cat that desperately needed our help. We had no plans of getting a cat yet because we knew that we were still trying to get the piggies together, which we still are. Um, this is when we first brought the cat home. Uh, if you follow us, you know that her name is Isabel and she's two years old. Um, we adopted her. She's very underweight. She's six pounds and um, average weight for a cat that is two years old is between 8 and 12 pounds. So yeah, she's underweight. She actually had a cold, so she was on antibiotics. And there was just no way that I could leave her in the pet store in those um, tiny cages. Uh, even though she was with like an adoption agency type thing and they just come to the pet store. Uh, they they have them in small cages because they have so many so they can't give them the space that they need uh, and in her condition I just couldn't leave her there so we had to bring her home and so we brought the piggies into the other room and made them a set up there so that she, so that Isabel could get used to everything here we let her roam around in the living room the kitchen uh, the hallway and stuff at first she was kind of she kind of go off to the corners uh, there's a mirror that we have sitting on the floor and she would go behind the mirror but now she's really opening up she still is like she likes to be up under things a lot um she really sleeps up under me but she she's getting used to everything uh the piggies are now i know that some people don't like the word piggies but you know I'm talking about the guinea pigs, okay? The guinea pigs are back into the kitchen right now. Uh, since we got Isabel, we were not able to get their CNC cage um, and the the chloroplast and all that. We weren't able to get that yet. So uh, I'd say within the next month or so, we should have everything together, and they will be in the living room instead of the kitchen. And uh, she'll be able to go out there too. For the most part, she sleeps in the bedroom with us. So we don't have to worry about uh, if she's going to be bothering them at night while we're sleeping. And can't keep an eye on her. So she stays in the bedroom with us. But when we get their cage together, um, we're going to have a top on it. That way uh, we don't have to worry about keeping her in one room all night. So she can't get them. And during the day, we can all be in the living room and keep an eye on her. So... I think it'll all work out and so pretty much majority of this video I was talking about is Belle so now we're gonna talk about it. the guinea pigs there's Lilo I think it's so adorable when they come up close to the camera for their close-ups there's little Hazel And I actually really liked this setup. They were only there for about two days. Um, the only thing that I did not like, since we don't have chloropl... I'm sorry if I'm saying this word wrong. I always have trouble saying it, but chloroplast. Um, if we had that, it would have been so much better. But we just had towels, fleece, and newspaper. So I didn't want to keep them in there on carpeted floor and then have pee go through everything. But I, I think they liked it in there too. It was nice and comfortable. It wasn't a lot of paper because they, they go crazy with the paper. They rip it up like I can't even explain it. But it was great for them and it was great for me because I didn't have to clean up a lot of torn paper. Mm, you're so cute, Hazel. Are you saying hi to everyone? <laughs> and Lola's eating some hay. 
Uh, she already did her close-up I was talking about Isabel at the time. 